Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Shram Malyala. In this particular video, I am going to show you what exactly the process is going to be once after getting allotment and what you have to do if you don't get allotment. So firstly, I'll complete uh, what uh, you have to do if you don't get allotment. So if you didn't got any allotment in the round one, so wait until round two. That's it. Uh, that's only thing you have to do. Uh, you have to wait until and unless you get the seat. So once you get the seat, you have to continue with the process which I'm going to explain now. So without taking much time, let's get into the video and uh, let me just give you the process for all the students who have to uh, who got allotment and uh, you have to pro follow the process which I'm going to show you here. So I'm here at the official website of JOSA 2022. Here you can see there is one uh, link called view seat allotment uh, result round one. Just click this. After clicking that, click on OK. So you will be taken to this particular interface. I will be leaving all the important links in the description. You can use them. So just enter your application number and password. You guys know it already, right? So just after logging in, this is how you are going to see the dashboard. So on, on the left side, you can see seat allotment results. I mean, it is showing new, right? So click on new. So after going here, you can see this is how the process is. Like this is the status for round one. You have to come convert each and everything into green. So that, that means your work is done. So before 26 to 5 p.m. you have to complete this because I'll just show you the schedule once. So if you see the schedule, the round one is scheduled till 26 to 5 p.m. So till 26 to 5 p.m. you have to complete each and every process related to online reporting like fee payment, document upload, response by candidate to query. And you have one more extra day till 27th 5 p.m. you have uh, option to respond to query. I mean if there is any mistake they will raise a query, you have to resolve it. So now here, so this is the dashboard, right? You have to convert everything into green by 26 to 5 p.m. So first view seat allotment result. Second is willingness submission. Third is upload documents. Fourth is seat acceptance fee payment. So first I will show you seat allotment result. So after you have to check like which seat you got. See for this particular student, it's a round number one. Choice number 106 got allotted. And institute allotted is NIT Manipur. Academic program allotted ECE. Category allotted open. Allotted quota other state and the seat pool female only so it will gender neutral or female only it will come like that allotment based on JEM and B B Tech and rank used for allotment is 36,332 so this is how the seat allotment result second thing is download initial seat allotment slip so you have to click this and you have to come down and click on print initial seat allotment slip third step is willingness submission so this is how it's going to have float freeze slide so float bullet to like uh, he got 143 options anything above, above it like 1 to 142 any option is available at his rank just give it that's how uh, he means slide means in same triple id manipur in if anything like for example he filled at 120 option triple id manipur csc says that i want only manipur campus triple id manipur campus only but if there is a possibility in csc which is above this particular ec option uh, in the above 142 please allot me that freeze means i am okay with triple id manipur so no need of, uh, uh, when I will not participate in the upcoming rounds. So that is my win by freeze. If you click slide next round, if you want to come to float, you are not allowed. Only freeze is allowed. So if you click float, you are allowed to come to in the next rounds. You are allowed to come for slide and freeze. Okay. If you click freeze now, you are not allowed to come to float and slide in the next round. It's done. You will not be allowed for the further rounds. That's it. So please keep this in the mind. Next thing is upload documents. This is like important. So coming to upload documents, you can see here, they are asking first class 10 certificate or birth certificate, class 10 mark sheet you can upload here, click on choose file, they have given the format PDF, size 10 KB to 500 KB, that is the size range which you have to keep in and class 12 mark sheet, so you can keep class 12 mark sheet, you also like size is again 10 to 500 KB, everything is 10 to 500 KB, according to that you have to uh, make necessary arrangements and upload here. State of eligibility proof. Many students are having the doubt called what is state of eligibility proof. State of eligibility proof will be again class 12 mark sheet. Two times you have to upload because the reason is so again in, in place of state of eligibility proof you have to again upload the class 12 mark sheet because the state of eligibility proof is for if you, they will check whether you are under which state for home state quota. So I again repeat the class 12 exams in which you have written the state in which you have completed your class 12th exams is your home state it's not the state where you born so don't upload Aadhaar card upload class 12 mark sheet upload class 12 mark sheet upload class 12 mark sheet so 
you can upload also the medical certificate this is the fourth item which uh, they are asking you so uh, if you want the format i have already made a separate video related to medical certificate i have already posted it i'll just uh, give the link in the description you can watch that and uh, make necessary uh, certificate keep ready by 26th if you don't have also you have another three days you will get it in one hour medical certificate it doesn't matter just go to the nearby doctor is the government or private who is registered doctor so go and um, fill it and take his stamp take his signature and everything and upload here and if you from if you are from ews obc sc st pwd category they will here they will ask you the category certificate even if the seat got allotted in general i mean open category you have to upload the cash certificate if you kept that you are from obc or you, you are from ews you are from sc you are from st or you are from pwd so you all these things will be verified and they will get back to you once the verification is done so once if you submit each and everything so then you have to pay the seat acceptance fee payment right how much is the seat acceptance fee payment so coming to seat acceptance fee payment it is 15000 for candidates with sc category st category pwd so like it can be like uh, everyone under pwd everyone under sc everyone under st you should pay 15000 and in which the 33000 will be taken by josan 12000 will be returned to the college in which you join after six rounds of counseling and 35,000 for all other candidates like OBC, NCL, uh, General and EWS, all the students should pay 35,000. In that also 3,000 will be taken by JOSA and 32,000 will be refunded to the college in which you are going to join after 6 rounds of JOSA. So don't worry about the amount, even if the branch, I mean campus changed in next rounds also, here you are paying fees for JOSA not to the college. Please keep that in the mind. So this is the seat acceptance fee payment. So once you are done with the seat acceptance fee payment, the process will start. They will receive your data. They will each verify each and everything and they will accept it. Done once if they accept it, your process is done. There will be no more verification in the next process, even if this uh, seat got changed or seat got upgraded. The only one thing what you have to keep uh, in your mind is you have to uh, regularly check once after fee payment. So they will be verifying your uh, uh, documents, right? For every one and a half hour or two hours, you have to log in and see if there is any issue uh, they raised from their end that this is wrong, you have to upload some other thing. That uh, you have to clear it by 27th 5 pm. If you don't clear it, your seat will be cancelled, you will be out of the counseling. So please keep in the mind that so by 26th, you have to upload each and everything, 26th 5 pm. So here it is 4. If you are from some category like EWS, OBC, SC, ST, and PWD, they will ask you to upload the necessary documents, okay. So that's it for this video guys, uh, if you find this is a time worthy video, please do like, share and subscribe, see you in the next one, until then take care, bye bye, Jai Hind.